Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to explore on how to create horizontal scrolling images in Squarespace. Let's begin. Now, the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here, you might want to click on the create an account button. And from here, the process is very straightforward and easy. All you're going to do is you can continue with your Google account or you can continue with their email. Now you have more options below. You can continue with your Facebook or Apple. And once you've done that, you are all set. Now, once you are here, creating horizontal scrolling images in Squarespace can be achieved using a combination of a custom code and gallery blocks. Now, in your website here in Squarespace, you need to go to the main dashboard. And the first step that we are going to do is go here and then... Now, the first um, thing is we need to edit this one. Click on uh, Site Style. Or you can simply click on the edit section where in the first step is we need to add section right here click on it and then you need to go down and hover down here where it says images and from here now once we are here you need to um browse some of the images that's already here in this section but the most important part is for you to be able to have these horizontal scrolling images we need to see the eye indicator right here as you can see this section lets you quickly add content items and switch between layout without having to manually rearrange them so that's where that's what we need in this section so from here maybe um let's use this one because it's automatically in a horizontal um orientation now i just wanted to click on it click on that and then what will happen is now once it's loaded as you can see you have another option here you can edit gallery edit section and click on this image and you can click on the edit gallery you can choose to close as you can see there's a plus button wherein you can search images or upload images for your website now in this situation i am going to be using two platforms to add images for my website so that i'm going to be having a dynamic horizontal scrolling images for this uh, video i am going to be using adobe photoshop for this one because i need to add and from here you can customize it and save it and once i've saved it i'm going to another platform which is i'm using canva and from here you can basically create all the images that you wanted so that you can upload that to your scrolling images on your website on squarespace and then of course now you can explore a lot of uh, thumbnails here but for now i'm gonna using the uh, blank thumbnail we're in the image that I saved earlier in Adobe Photoshop is the same file that I'm going to be using for so that I can upload it customizingly in my Squarespace horizontal images. Now, if you're a user here in Canva, you might want to just drag and drop the file. I'll click on the upload and search for the directory. And once you've done that, you can customize this image right here to your preference and liking. And matter of fact, when you click on the share button, you have the option to download as a png file which is the suggested or you can simply give access to your collaborating team click on anyone with link so that they can edit can comment or can view or you can also share that on social media and a lot more but for now we're gonna be downloading as a png file and obviously from here what we need to do is click on the upload images now once the image is added you can actually scroll them up to your liking it depends so that later when we custom css this thing it's going to be uh really uh good all right you can add an uh description here such as you know uh, you can even add a link if you want it and once you've done that you need to close and then then once we're done again we we'll click on the edit section after editing gallery 
click on that and you remember to choose this gallery type which is gonna be now make sure in the gallery type you need to choose on the grid symbol right here let's hover this down right now here and obviously from the columns you need to add as more columns as you can right say for example six and then now you can also play along with the aspect ratio as you can see they have an one by one square you have an option to a uh, three to standard four by three a 16 by 19 uh, panoramic like this one or anamorphic widescreen so it depends on your for, for now let's gonna choose these option right and then the next thing we need to do is now if by any chance you're not happy with the aspect ratios here and you wanted to have a custom aspect ratio you need to go to the canva we're in all you're gonna do is create a design and you can custom size the image that you wanted to upload on your squarespace and then after saving it go back again to your squarespace site and then now once you've done that all you're gonna do is click on the save and then after saving now you need to access your custom code editor it's always available in the the design option now to access it is just go to the left side panel of your dashboard go to design and then hover down below to custom code now here's gonna what we're going to put right here this is gonna be uh, the custom css code it's a straightforward process now when you put that custom code for the uh scrolling effect this is going to be the scrolling image and we'll be using the css animation property all right and then after that we need to update the code with and key per keyframe percentage for your unique web style style all right now when we put that as you can see it's already been added the effect is already here we just need to update the code time with and keyframe percentage of our website style because you also have the option from here to use the collection id to apply this animation to a specific gallery section right now after doing so what we need to do next is just simply click on save right here now as you can see that's the desktop version but when you hover down to the mobile version it's the same process right here it's cool isn't it now and after that all we're gonna do is simply click on save and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one